in my position as a leader of, uh, of an organization in, uh, in Austria, the country where I am at the moment. And uh, at this time, I was both leading a team physically in Vienna, but I was as well leading a team virtually in the whole Austria. And um, let's say that with the team in Vienna, it was better since I was seeing them every day. It was, uh, it was better to connect to them and to be more vulnerable. But I had uh, a certain uh, challenge to connect and to, to be vulnerable towards the team that I was leading virtually and that I was meeting only four or five times per, per year. However, in October 2014, this was not the case, and I, I, um, I literally had to tell them what are my issues and what are my problems, because I realized that I really needed them to understand also where I'm coming from and what kind of uh, uh, challenges I'm facing every day. And it's not everything perfect, and that I don't have the answers to everything, and I don't have the solutions yet for everything, but I'm trying my best to, to find them. Um, and when it comes to how did it feel, I think I, I still remember the evening when I actually opened up to this team of, um, of, eight, uh, of eight people and um, it felt very relieving. Um, I, it felt like really like a big relief that finally I have the, the chance to tell them how I feel. Um, that I have the chance to just let go of all the um, like prejudgment and all the uh, preconceived ideas that they will judge me or they, they, they will think this of me or this of me and just to, to, to be able to be completely honest and just tell them everything that I was feeling. And I think, I think it was very um, interesting on one side, but even more surprising. I was completely surprised by their reaction. Uh, because of course I was going there and I, I, I put my soul out um, and I had no idea how it will turn out. I had no idea if they're going to tell me, yeah, okay, maybe you're not the person for this position and maybe you should just resign. And I was really afraid of that, of course, but then I was like, okay, I'm just going to do it. But then the, their reaction was just amazing. And um, they, they, they just told me, we wish you would have told us this before. We wish that you would have been so open to us because now we understand you even even more. We understand what's going on also when you're apart from us. And they were so open to it and they were so, um, how to say it, I didn't even know. They were just very, very supporting, um, <laughs> opposite to everything that I had in mind. They were just very supportive and, and very open to help me and to listen to this from now on all the time. So I think... That moment, and when it comes to how did you grow, I think that was the first moment when I realized that in this position, especially in this position, I really need to be open to the people that I'm leading, uh, because otherwise it will just seem that I I have everything under control when I don't, and when I actually need their their help, either like real help or just the emotional help, or emotional support to know that they I have other people that understand me or what I'm going through, and. Uh, I think this this was the, like the, the first moment when I really had such a big contact with um, putting myself in a very vulnerable situation as a leader. And from that moment on, I started to see uh, more and more how I could actually take this and put it in other situations and be vulnerable also in, in other situations. And as a, as a consequence to that, actually, we did the same exercise with the two teams that I was leading. Um, we, we did the same exercise that we put them together and we just inv I just invited everyone to be vulnerable and to say everything and just discuss openly uh, to one another. And I think also from that discussion, which was happening a few months later, um, from that discussion, we all grew so much and we all understood so much better uh, each own's perspective. So I think that's that's what uh, my story of vulnerability or the first like very impactful story of vulnerability was and it it taught me so much when it comes to to leadership